I uh, have this terrible pain in my left shoulder. It came out of nowhere. And nothing seems to help. <clears throat> Any other symptoms? Chest pain? Lightheadedness? No. None at all. What were you doing when the pain came on? Just sitting and praying. She'd been helping to make the altar breads that morning, but no hard physical work or repetitive motion. A couple of possibilities. You have enlarged lymph nodes, so I'd like to start by ruling out breast cancer. And I do mean rule out. It's probably nothing. I'm going to do a quick breast exam. Do you mind stepping out for a moment? Not at all. That was so I could ask about the second possibility. Left side of pain means it could be angina, which is made worse by stress. It might not be a coincidence that the pain started on the verge of a major life change. How did you know? Blue veil means you're a postulant. Haven't taken your vows yet. Brown vestments means you're Carmelites, cloistered nuns, which explains the chaperone. You're about to withdraw from the world for good. I was a seminarian. Who obviously didn't take his vows. Cassock made my ass look fat. <laughs> Do you mind unbuttoning your shirt and lying down for me? Okay. I have had second thoughts. Um, Kind of a wreck. A life of perpetual enclosure and almost complete silence. If you weren't wrestling with this, I'd say there's something really wrong with you. I'm going to admit you. There's a little mass here, and I'd like to get it checked out. It's just a benign fat deposit. Her imaging's clean. Stress test two. It's not angina. So why the shoulder pain? Is it possible that she hurt her shoulder? Thanks a lot. I didn't tell him. You were cagey about where you were going. Chase has been cagey in general. Good chance I'd find the two of you in the same cage. Go ahead, park, follow you. How you feeling? Better. The drum's healing nicely. Good to see you on your feet. Patient's a nun? Are you turning back to your long abandoned faith in time of trouble? She was next up in the clinic. And I don't want your help. You got stabbed. You blame me. But what did you learn about me that you hadn't known for years? Maybe I was an idiot before and I'm not one now. Or maybe the reverse is true. Thanks for all your help. Your soul sister is having a fungal infection from the unprocessed wheat in the altar breads. Explains the shoulder pain the jumbo lymph nodes. Thanks for all my help. <laughs> gotta get you back to the hospital right away. The artery that's bringing blood to your brain, it's coming apart, it means you could stroke. Page a team of our best doctors. I don't have to cough as much. It's clotted up. Is that bad? We're almost there. Get me a row two level. What are you doing? I want to make sure I can position her wrist properly. For what? ABG. I don't need an ABG. Just get a pulse ox. I'll do it. Grab a consent form. Go! You need to operate right now, okay? Good to operate. Can you repeat this? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. No, about it. And no ifs. Get her into OR 11. Rotted dissection, four inch pulsatile mass in her neck, and some broken aphasia. It's got to be a clock keeping her from bleeding out. Pulse? Bounding, four plus. It was a three plus 20 minutes ago. 20? But you just got here. The blood looks pretty dry. Got yourself shaving? You know, that can happen when the nun you woke up with coughs blood on you. You slept with a nun? Forget none. You slept to the patient? The former, to both. Internal neck trauma. It's impressive. It's happened to me a few times. Up high. Dr. Chase. Clot's broken. Bring her in and pack her nose. We're gonna need number three vicrals. We're gonna fix this. You're not gonna operate on her. If her and Carlisle are unavailable, Riley's done far fewer dissections than I have. He's also slept with her far fewer times than you have. Your judgment's compromised. I spent the night with her. It doesn't change how I make an incision. Tell him! 
do the surgery. You're trying to score points with him at the risk of a patient's life. He's the better surgeon. Vascular clamp. You're not going to put her in bypass? You take a half hour to set up. You clamp now, she could stroke out. She's already got neurological symptoms. We wait 30 minutes, she'll definitely have brain damage. You're trying to make sure she's either perfect or dead. She's not going to die. If I get this done in five minutes, you, she won't stroke out. You don't know that you will. And you can't know because you can't think clearly about her. Vascular clamp. Collision time, 9.46 and 23 seconds. Vascular scissors. We're over five minutes. Halt the sound. Good flow. Light in the anesthesia. You're not going to close the wound first? No. this. No ifs, ands, or buts. No ifs, ands, or buts. It hurts. Uh, right upper quadrant, pain and distension. What's wrong with my stomach? This is your liver. The liver failure could be from intraoperative hypotension. Check the anesthesia sheet. Pressure was fine throughout. Thrombus? That voice in the hall that none of us have any reason to be listening to is, not surprisingly, wrong. Abdominal ultrasound was negative. Then we have to assume liver failure is just another symptom of whatever she's got. Trousseau syndrome could send clots, cause the ischemic foot, add the enlarged lymph node, macrocytosis. Disseminated T-cell lymphoma. Wilson said it wasn't cancer. Wilson says it's not breast cancer. Sarcoidosis. Normal ACE level. Highly insensitive for sarcoid. Negative chest x-rays aren't. Then we've got a biopsy. Yeah, Foreman's clearly wrong. You're clearly not grasping at straws because you're clearly not emotionally involved. I know you want to believe that this is something we can cure. It's not. I'm sorry. She has jaw claudication. You only heard claudication and corona dissection? I'd say giant cell arteritis. And I'd tell your former teammates to put her on steroids. She's gonna live. Yeah. And then what? <laughs>